All right. If you Hey. Hey, what's up? Hi there. So uh so who are you? Uh, I'm Wookie. Uh on uh yeah, I'm uh attending by telepresence to uh, keep my carbon footprint down. So uh There, you're in black yeah. and white, freezing. You're freezing a little, just a little bit, because you're Sorry. on the other side yeah, of the world. The, the uh, slightly, sh the, the Wi-Fi is less good in some places than others, and I'm not sure it's great here. Let's try over here. Cool. So, uh, you're attending the conference right here in San Francisco, but you're sitting, where are you? Uh, I'm in Cambridge, in Arms Office. Cool. You always do that. You just sit in the in the office, and then you go all, no, the, all I, around the I, world. I try not to fly too often, so uh, it's, uh, that's four tons of emissions just to come here, which uh, we can't really do these days. So uh, I send this machine instead, which just came from down the road. But you send the machine over the airplane too, or no? Uh, no down the road. No, down the, the road. The suitable technology are in in the Bay Area, so I didn't have to travel very far at all. All right. Let's go over there. Have you seen the new uh, Social Next uh, PC they have over here? Uh, I, yeah, I saw that. I was very impressed. It's We've right been waiting for uh, desktop machines. This is cool stuff right here. Three PCIe slots. Yeah, I think your your fiber is just a little bit black and white. Oh, reconnecting. Let's get him back. Yeah, the narrow connect is coming. You're problem. back, you're back. Dodgy, dodgy Wi-Fi. You're back, that's good. All right. That, that, that's, that was a really cool thing right here, is they were launching right there. So, yeah. so uh, what are you working on over there in Cambridge? So, I've been doing ILP32 bring up for the last uh, year, basically. So, that's the uh, different ABI, 32-bit ABI for uh, AR64. Uh, and, uh, you know, it needs bringing up from scratch for Debian. So, getting the tool chain working and then all the stuff you need for a base image. Which has taken a while, but I'm using our new Rebootstrap technology, which basically rebuilds Debian from nothing in about eight hours now for a new architecture. So uh, that's quite cool. Uh, what is this ABI you're talking about? So uh, you know the ABI is the the application binary interface. Uh, so uh, you know every library, every application needs a set of libraries, and those libraries have to comply with a particular have to be built for a particular ABI. So the default ABI for AR64 is LP64, which is standard 64-bit pointers. Um, the uh, ILP32 ABI is 32-bit um, pointers uh, and longs, which is the same as X32 on X86, if you're familiar with that. So it's exactly equivalent. Um, and for people who only make uh, machines which uh, run 64-bit instructions, so like the Cavium Thunder X, um, it's really useful if you need 32-bit software uh, on a 64-bit hardware, uh, as opposed to the normal arrangement of just using standard 32-bit instruction set, which works just fine on most ARM machines, but um, not the ones that don't have that hardware built in. So is it something to do with uh, backwards compatibility or...? Uh, kind of. I mean, it's a, bit, it's a pretty obscure thing. There's, there's a very small set of people who care. <laughs> but it's a set of people who've got software, you know, probably old software, which has always been 32-bit, which they don't really want to port to 64-bit because making it 64-bit safe will be a massive deal. So that's basically some network stuff. Um, so you're in a situation where you can recompile it, for the new instruction set, but you can't port it to 64-bit, or at least you could, but that will be a massive pile of work and you might break things. So for those people, uh, and you've got a, you want to run it on hardware that can only run 64-bit instructions. Uh, so that set of people want to use this ABI. And the stuff, uh, so the stuff you're doing is going to be uh, uh, useful for the whole industry? Well, uh, like I say, it, it, uh, for most people, they can either use the existing 32-bit stuff or they can use 64-bit stuff or just build for 64-bit. So, no, it's a bit of a niche thing. Uh, so, uh, it's very questionable whether distros will support this in the long term. But for the set of people who want it, it's really important. So, Lenaro has been making that work over the last year. Um, and, you know, basically, as of about this week, you can now install a Debian stable built for LP32, just just a core system, uh, you know, we haven't built hundreds of thousands of packages yet. 
And uh, you've been uh, you've been actually following all the keynotes and stuff, and you can just uh, join from Cambridge yeah, exactly. on your little machine. Uh, I, I, I can get around, talk to people, and, and do most of the things you need to do at a conference. Uh, I can even ask questions. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it works pretty well. You're probably getting That's more attention than just being here, right? Well, yeah, in a sense, it's a little bit strange. It's sort of slightly disconnected. Yeah, it's not quite as good as being there. Uh, but obviously, uh, it is a lot lower carbon, and uh, it works pretty well. Um, and uh, how about, uh, in general, uh, all the, uh, the latest stuff that Linara is doing? Is it exciting? Yeah, uh, I'm particularly excited about the uh, social net. Uh, nice, nice hardware. We've all been waiting for decent hardware we can just use on our desktops and do native compiling instead of all that cross-compiling nonsense. Uh, and ARM's done a terrible job of dog fooding over the last many years. Yeah, they still think that if you want to build for ARM, you cross build. And you go, no, no, you should just natively build stuff. And we should put ARM machines on everybody's desktops. And then they would notice that some things didn't work. Uh, so I I'm really pleased to see that we are finally getting there. Uh, people have understood that for a while. But the problem is, of course, the hardware focus has been on phones and embedded systems and all that stuff, not just plain desktops and laptops that normal developers can use. So uh, it's nice to see we're finally getting that to happen. Let's check with the social next one second. Can you turn this way? Sure. So when are you making a laptop? With a laptop? Yeah, sure. laptop. We would like to la see a laptop also. I'm joking. I was just joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but th this, is a, this is a really exciting little box right here. So how soon are you going to get one? Uh, I don't know. I haven't got a plan yet. I expect some will turn up in this office uh, soon enough. I think if you uh, just show your credit card to the camera, you can yeah. take it, right? Okay. Credit yeah. card? Yeah, credit card. Do the payment right here. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll have to find it. It'll take me a while. All right. There it is.